There are many different ways to install Ubuntu Desktop. But first, we'll need to go to the Ubuntu website and get an ISO image file. So we'll browse to ubuntu.com. Once on the website, we'll click on the Desktop button. No need to select any of these options down here. Just click on Desktop. Now, once you click on Desktop, you'll see the large Download Ubuntu button which you can also click on and you'll be brought to an area where you can download Ubuntu 14.04.3 LTS. Now if this version number is different as it will be as things progress and they make updates to Ubuntu desktop, don't worry about that changed number. As long as it's an LTS build and preferably Ubuntu 14, everything within this course will still be relevant. Now over here, you'll select whether or not you would like the 64-bit or 32-bit version of Ubuntu Desktop. As I explained in the previous module, that's something that you'll need to verify with your particular processor in your computer and again, if you're having difficulty ascertaining whether or not you have a 64-bit capable processor or not, you can post in the discussion board and I'd be happy to guide you through that process. We will be downloading the 64-bit version of Ubuntu 14 LTS by clicking on this large download button. On this page, you have the opportunity to donate to Ubuntu. We're not going to do that right now, but it is something that you should thoughtfully consider as Ubuntu is free software and developing software, well, good software, isn't free. Again, we'll go ahead and click the Not Now button and our download should begin automatically. You can see it here in Google Chrome. It has started to download and it's a rather large file so it will take some time to download. Once it's done, we'll proceed with preparing our installation media.